hello foodies welcome to my youtube channel and welcome to today's episode if you're new here my name is jenny and this is jenny foodie and in this channel we share content about food information about food so if you have not subscribed yet kindly subscribe so that you do not miss all this goodness that we share in this channel and so guys in today's episode i'm going to tell you the reasons why you should soak your beans before cooking them we are also going to boil gizeri. I'm going to show you how I prepare my own gizeri. And I'm also going to tell you the importance or the benefits of having a pressure cooker in your kitchen. Yes, come with me guys and let's do this. So guys, I already soaked our beans overnight. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of bubbles and some gas that has been released from the beans. Yeah, and we are. I am cooking. I am cooking this very using yellow beans. Yes, I soaked the beans, and we have some green maize here. And here is our pressure cooker that we are going to use to boil our gizeri. Yeah. So now let me tell you the reasons why you should soak your beans before cooking them. So guys, I'll start by asking you a question. Have you ever had an experience where you had beans and then you had uh, periods of a lot of uh, flatulence or you passed a lot of gas? If you have had such an experience, the beans that you had were possibly not soaked before cooking. So one of the ways that you can reduce a lot of flatulence after eating beans or you can uh, actually deal with it completely is by soaking your beans overnight before you boil them. So soaking your beans uh, dissolves the complex sugars that are in beans that the body cannot digest. So once you soak the beans, the sugars dissolve into the water. And uh, once you cook them, you are dealing with, uh, you have dealt with the excess gas that comes as a result of consuming beans that were not soaked. So the reason why you get this flatulence is because the oligosaccharide, now the complex sugars, that were not digested are not absorbed in the, intest the small intestines so they pass into the large intestines in the large intestines they meet microorganisms that are in your gut so the microorganisms digest the sugars resulting in fermentation now the fermentation is what gives you gas in your body in your tummy and then you end up passing it out as flatulence which is sometimes embarrassing as much as it's a normal process so to reduce that, you can start by soaking your beans before you cook them. I do this for my, uh, for my beans when I'm either cooking beans uh, alone so that I, I can have bean stew or when I'm cooking gideri. So I take my beans and soak them overnight before I use them for either my uh, boiling, boiling my beans alone or boiling gideri. If you don't know gideri, gideri it's a mixture of beans and green maize this is a uh, fresh maize so some people can use there's different types of beans so i'm um, today i'm using yellow beans and sometimes people can cook gideri using uh cow peas that's minji i think yes cow peas are cow peas minji let's say peas yes so here you can see there's a lot of bubbles on the surface of the water that soaked my beans and when you're soaking your beans make sure that you completely cover them with your water uh, so that you get so that the gas fully dissolves and if your water level goes down uh, make sure to uh, top it up so that your beans are covered with water and when you're cooking your beans remember to drain this water if you can even smell this water it has some it has some smell so to reduce transferring the sugars into your beans make sure you rinse your beans properly before you cook them and do not use this water make sure you drain it so we're going to go ahead and rinse our and rinse our beans put them in our pressure cooker mix our green maize and then start cooking but here we have our we have our beans I'm going to rinse them out, wash them, and drain this water.
here are my soaked beans and another reason why um, soaking your beans is good practice uh, soaking your beans uh, softens the seed coats the bean seed coats and reduces the amount of time that you're going to cook your beans which saves a lot especially in these times that um, fuel, cost, fuel costs are so high and even refilling your, your cooking gas is expensive so you can save a lot uh, on that so make sure you rinse you wash and rinse your beans thoroughly so that you do not transfer any of the uh, sh uh, the complex sugars into your beans Wash your beans until your water is clear. Our beans and uh, and green maize are now clean, so we're going to go ahead and boil them. I'm putting all of them together. Some people prefer to start with maybe maize and then add beans after maybe uh, halfway through the cooking because the maize might be hard and the beans might be soft. But because my maize is green, I'm going to go ahead and add all of them together at the same time in the pressure cooker and then cook them. So this is our pressure cooker. So this is our pressure cooker. Yes, and... Uh, this has been a very uh, important, I can say, asset in my kitchen because it saves me a lot of time. Uh, the pressure cooker cooks your food in very few minutes. For instance, I'm going to cook this githeri in about an hour because it's a lot. So if it was less, I could cook it for less because you're cooking your food under high pressure. I love this uh, pressure cooker because it's, it's a resource for me in my kitchen. I can, you can cook your meat. Your chicken, kenyedi chicken, in less than an hour. Sometimes you might boil your meat for so long and you're wasting a lot of gas. So it saves a lot of energy in your kitchen and it saves you time. That's the benefit of having a pressure cooker in your kitchen. And this pressure cooker, I got it from Kisasa Homes. Uh, they've not paid me to say this, but I'm saying this because it's a very uh, important thing for you to know. And it's it has served me. I've had this pressure cooker for almost a year now and it's still in good condition and some people may fear that uh, the pressure cooker lid may come off it's it's restrained here so when you're closing your your pressure cooker um it's closed here so there's no way this lid can come off so it's safe as well this pressure cooker is safe and this one is 11 liters they have um, other sizes according to your budget and your preference i'm going to check how much i bought this one but it was about four thousand i think but it's a very good investment so we're going to take our we're going to take our beans and um and there and sorry our beans and maize put them in our pressure cooker and boil
make sure this coupling is put back here it helps regulate the pressure in the cooker so we put everything here so we're going to go ahead and boil that's a lot of giveaway our giveaway is cooking guys and another good reason why you should invest in a pressure cooker it's uh it reduces the hassle of having to use a uh, a jiko that's a charcoal burner if you don't know what a jiko is um to cook your giveaway because you're saving a lot of time and a lot of energy and definitely money when you're using your pressure cooker to cook your giveaway or whichever food that is tough to cook that may take a lot of time to cook yes and uh if you're a frequent viewer guys you can definitely tell that i'm coming to you from a different location uh, we moved guys and this is our new kitchen. We will make it we'll be making our videos from here now So get used to this um, And I thank God for this place. I hope that we are going to grow in this place and that we are going to make more memories, create very fun and interesting moments from here and I'm hopeful for the future of this channel and I'm hopeful that we will grow we are on our road to a thousand subscribers if you have not subscribed, kindly subscribe so that we can grow guys and kindly like this video, share and subscribe if you, if you have not subscribed yet and guys let's grow together I'll take you through, uh, I'll show you how our giveaway goes and how our pressure cooker is functioning and how you can uh, once your food is done how you will uh, take it from take it out of the pressure cooker and yes About uh, an hour and a half guys, um, I've come to check our giveaway and I think it's ready now. So what we're going to do is we're first going to turn off our burner. Then uh, release the pressure slowly using this knob. So just do this. So you will make this thing like this. Once the steam has reduced a bit, take care of your hand. Remove, remove this thing and let the steam come out and make sure the steam has totally come out before you are opening your, your lid otherwise the lid will not open yeah the steam is coming out Once your steam has totally come out, uh, you will open. This thing will go lower, and then it's hot. Use this and slide it like that, and open. Look at the way it's ready. about one and a half hours so this gizeri is ready for kukanga that's frying with the onions i usually uh, fry mine with onions oil onions 
uh, tomatoes and some dania just simple gizeri Thank you for watching and thank you for supporting this channel. Bye.